Alright, so my name is James. Um, this is going to be an instructional video, a tutorial on how to create a tracking PID controller. Um, over here we have our system, which is a fan on a little lever here with the weight on the other end. And our goal is to make it track a sawtooth uh, wave or voltage, I guess. And so it's going to go up and down like this. Um, in order to do that, first we're going to actually make it track zero. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so first, here we already have, um, we've implemented a PID controller. Um, we have the proportional, which is the P, and the I term, and the D term. Um, so proportional gain is obviously, you know, proportional to our signal. So that's why we just multiply it by a P gain, denoted here. And then the integral term is proportional to the integral of the signal. And so uh, here we have I theta, which it, all it does is it accumulates um, the signal over time, um, right here. And then we also have the derivative term, um, which we just multiply the derivative, which is one of our inputs. And then we just sum it all up together, including kind of like a base voltage, which we have chosen is to be 3.5. Um, and so... Yeah, uh, f for now, um, this will be useful later, the error signal, when we do the tracking control. But uh, for now, we've put theta d, or um, I guess the desired to be zero. Um, and here we've already calculated a couple of, or not calculated, but we've tried a few different gains that seem to work. So let's, uh, let's run it. So if you look at this. we should see it kind of converged to zero. And if we look at the graph over here, um, you can ignore the blue line for now, which is the sawtooth wave that we're going to be tracking later. Um, the red line represents um, the pitch or the angle of our lever. And so you can see that it kind of oscillated a little bit and then converged to zero, like, it, like we expected to. Alright, so um, here we've uh, implemented our PID controller. Um, so now we need to tune the gains. So um, right now we have all of them set to zero. So if we run it, it'll actually just uh, feed it a, th a constant 3.5 volts, which, which is not what we want. Um, it oscillates a lot, as we can see, see here from a previous run we have. Um, uh, it overshoots by a lot, and also it takes a really long time to settle. Um, so first, we're going to adjust the P gain. Um, so let's try negative 0.019 or something. And so if we load that in, we should see the controller respond a little bit differently. So here you can see the, uh, the rise time was reduced by quite a bit. But now the settling time has actually gotten longer. So in order to shorten that up, we will change the uh, derivative gain. So let's try negative 2.3. If we load that, you can see that it doesn't overshoot as much, and it also settles really quickly. But we still have this problem where it's not actually uh, going to zero. So this is where the integral term comes in. Let's stop this real quick. So for the integral term, uh, let's try something relatively small, like zero point zero negative 0 0.002. And if we load this, and run it. The integral term should negate the steady state error. And as you can see, the pitch is now zero. Alright, um, so now that we have a, a working PID controller that can track a zero, we're going to see if we can make one that can track um, an, an arbitrary signal, which in this case is going to be a sawtooth wave. Um, so before, 
um, we actually set the desired signal to be zero, um, so that it would, you know, track zero. If we delete this, you'll see that now we can ha we're gonna have an error signal, which is just the actual signal minus the desired signal. Um, so if the error signal goes to zero, that means um, our actual signal is converged to the desired one. Um, so we're gonna w let's try the. Uh, the gains that we have already and uh, see if that works. So it's going to take a little bit for it to uh, start tracking it. It's going to oscillate a little bit. But uh, uh, we should start seeing that the uh, pitch is going to go up and down with the uh, desired signal. And if we look at the graph, you can see that uh, the red the red line, which is our actual signal, kind of oscillated a little bit, but then started tracking the blue sawtooth wave.